Final night of the pre-Christmas phase here from Avalon Airport Oval. Conditions, fantastic. We uh, had a bit of a triathlon tonight, skills, running, two kilometre time trial, and swimming components, a few relays. Don Brew won the Superfish, so it's been a really, really good night, which has, has ended a really positive phase this pre-Christmas. Only real downside was our camp to Ballarat got washed out on that really wet weekend, first weekend in December. But uh, apart from that, been really positive. Boys, have, we're still, we're not in our new facility. We're training out of our compound and uh, attitude's been really good. So we've worked hard on the track, good skills, good education and some really good fitness gains as well. So we did a two kilometre time trial at the beginning of this pre-Christmas phase, another one tonight. Lots of blokes improved by a fair margin. So we're really pleased with this six week block. Game of uh, lawn bowls is broken out over the road. There'll be a barbecue, chance for the boys to connect a bit. And then about a month off, we get back into a January 15 here at Avalon Airport Oval. Um, and then, you know, we get into that real pre-season phase building up towards practice matches. So all positive so far. We've renewed focuses in, a, in two key areas, I suppose, our kicking. We just want to be a better kicking team. Footy today is a lot about ball use, so we want to kick the ball better. And we need to be better defensively, and a key part of that is tackling. So Malcolm Bangs uh, came down for a couple of nights. Walked our guys through a lot of tackling technique work, so it's been a real positive. Um, and yeah, we have tried to mix it up. We need to get in this pre-Christmas phase. We need to keep it interesting. It's you know generally pretty warm. We've got a lot of tradesmen, so they're working hard during the day. So they need to come here and be enthused about their football. So we want to get the mix of enough skill frequency, enough fitness work and also enough education about how we want to play the game. And the, the learning curve for particularly the young players coming in from the TAC Cup or players coming in from local football, it's a really steep learning curve. So we just need to get that balance right between those three components, the fitness, the skill frequency, enjoyment, and then the education. On Thursday nights, yeah, we uh, go to regions and, and do some cross training. Um, Geelong Grammar in the gym down there, Crank and Grind, a bike session down at Geelong as well, uh, North Melbourne Boxing and Fitness, we did a few sessions up there with Steve Stenberg in North Melbourne, and then the Werribee guys, CrossFit, and also a few sessions here into the, the outdoor pool. Um, so yeah, we mix it up on those Thursday nights, have a meal together, and again, uh, the boys get to know each other. And part of it tonight, actually, I thought we've got a Chris Kringle. So the boys were all allocated someone within their region and had to spend 20 bucks. So that should be good for a laugh as well tonight.